What's up guys, it's the Electronic Helper 3 here, and uh, first and foremost, I'd like to say sorry for not posting in so long, but uh, here to crank out at least a couple more videos. Um, in this video, I'm going to talk about how to cube, or actually find the cube root of any number 1 through uh, 6 digits. And it's extremely easy, by the end of this you'll be able to do it. Yeah very fast in just a few seconds um, so uh, let's just get right into it um, this will be the first part of my series on how to cube numbers the second part will come later and it'll say how to find the cube roots of numbers 7 through 9 so those will be some pretty big numbers anyway let's get started so the number that we're going to be working with today is I'm bringing over here 389,017 so write that down here, um, and let's go step by step on how to find it. So the first thing you need to do is memorize this table. Now, although it may seem daunting at first, it should be fairly easy, uh, because I assume at least most of you were students or are students, and you probably had to learn this, or are learning it right now, so really you should know this, or it should just be really a jog in the memory. And if all else fails, you can actually do the math to get to this. Plus, you don't need to know the exact numbers, although it's very helpful. You just need to get a certain certain spark about it. <laughs> so, how to solve 389,017? How to cube root that? Well, first things first. Let's take a look at the last digit of it. So, 1 and 1, 2 and 8, 3 and 7, 4 and 4, 5 and 5, 6 and 6, 7 and 3, 8 and 2, and 9 and 9. You'll notice here that a lot of these are the same. 1 and 1, 4 and 4, 5 and 5, 6 and 6, and 9 and 9. So that'll, that's a big, big help. And the other two, that, or excuse me, the other four that aren't the same are actually switched. See, 2 and 8 and 8 and 2, 3 and 7 and 7 and 3. So to find the last digit of the number, because this will be a two-digit number, uh, always if it's six digits or five digits, it's always going to be a two-digit number. And so to find the last digit, you just look at the last digit of the big number. In this case, it's seven. So you look here, you find number seven, and then you see the number cubed ends in three. So immediately you know last digit equals three. So now that was pretty simple. Now, how would you find the first digit? Well, this is where you really need to know these numbers. You're going to take every number before the comma. So in this case, it's three digits. And you're going to analyze that number and find out which number it is in between, or which two numbers it is in between. Now, as you'll see here, 389 is in between 343 and 512 on our chart here. And what this means is that 389 actually belongs to 7 because it is greater than 343, our number, and less than 512. So that means the first digit equals 7. So number is 73. So let's go over that again. The last digit of the number is 7. And when the last digit is 7, then that means that when the last digit of the big number is 7, that means that this number is going to be 3, the last digit of the cube root. Now for the first digit, we find 389 is greater than 343, less than 512, so it belongs to 7. All right, let's take a look at another example. Okay, our next example is going to be 85,184. Let's put that in here. So instantly, you should know that the last digit is going to be 4 because the digit, um, because 85,184 ends in 4, so, so will the cube root. So that's what you should always do first while solving these. Then you have to find the first digit. Now, it's not always the first three digits because not every number is going to be a six digit number. Here we have 85,000. So that's only two digits. We look at 85, and we see that it's in between 64 and 125, meaning that the first digit is going to be 
uh, 4. Sorry, I wrote last digit 3 here. I meant last digit 4. So then you guys see that the first digit is also 4. And that will mean that the number 2 is 44. Once again, um, the last digit is 4 because the big number ends in 4, and the first digit is 4 because it falls in between 64 and 125. There's one more thing I'd like to point out to you guys, and that is this website right here. Um, it is called mindmagician.org and slash cube rt.aspx uh, link will be in the description as always um, this will really just help you practice and figure out what it is it'll generate a random cube and you can click which one find out if you're right or wrong and I'll show you really what it's like once you really get the hang of it so instantly you would know that this would be uh, 15 click on that correct um, this would be uh, 60 excuse me uh, no uh, 68, yes, that is correct. Should we? Yeah. Um, this would be uh, 86. Um, this would be 46. Uh, where is it? 46, and so on and so forth. Uh, you guys get the point. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. I uh, hope it's helpful. Uh, this is a really cool trick to show to your friends and really good for you to know in math. And, um, this is also a really great practice tool. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. hope you guys learned something. And I look forward to making some more videos for you guys. So uh, thanks for watching. Please uh, comment, like, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.